So here's a new development board here with a TI processor. So hello, so who are you? Uh, I'm Bill Mills. I uh, do Linux strategy for TI. So we're pretty excited about the Beagle X15. Um, this Beagle board uh, is back to sort of the original concept of being a high performance uh, Beagle development board. Uh, the Beagle Bone is very successful and is not being replaced, and it's more uh, aimed at device I.O. and, and uh, makers, but uh, this is back to the original concept. And one of the things I'm excited about, about uh, Beagle X15 is the true heterogeneous processing. So we have two A15 processors, uh, multiple M4 processors and two C66 DSPs. Um, so what we want to use the Beagle X15 for is to find a way to make those other cores very accessible to the Linux programmer and make it very easy for them to use those cores. So this is a heterogeneous uh, computing development board also, right? Right. And you know, if, you, if you're not interested in those, you, Two A15s is nothing to. Uh, so what do you do? Uh, so who are you? So I'm Praneet. I work in TI Android, Android Automotive Software team, and uh, so we are lucky to get the Big X15 to play with it very early in the last few months. We try to get bring up Android Lollipop with latest LTS kernel, 3.14 based, and in a couple of minutes probably uh, we can show a quick demo on that one. Uh, so we are pretty excited to use this, uh, especially for uh, on a more broad market and Android automotive strategy, and to we just want uh, developers to start playing with it and provide uh, interesting use cases around it and see whether how it helps the community. This is the Android development board for Android Automotive. So this is the new big push for the car. And uh, TI, is, this is a chip for that, right? So, uh, uh, this is one of the reference boards. Uh, we use it for a broader strategy for uh, TI and automotive. Some of the customers will also will be willing to play with it, apart from our full reference design platform. So, can you show some of the ports? Uh, so, what do we have here? We have. Uh, there's a HDMI. So it should have a HDMI. And as you can see, the serial is through the FTDI to serial uh, connection. And we have USB. Uh, uh, these are uh, dual Ethernet ports. Dual Ethernet? Yeah. So what do you do with dual Ethernet? So uh, uh, you can have two, uh, two, it's two the yeah. same, two uh, Ethernet. Uh, yeah. Both, uh, Two Ethernet connections like Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1 can run at the same time. And uh, we have some USB uh, uh, ports. Like as you can see, there are uh, three USB connections, and like you know, we can run uh, like in USB mass storage mode and like connect uh, one through mouse. Uh, those are some of the interesting use cases, especially like Android. Like you know, you as you can see, there is. The bare metal Beagle X15 platform, uh, there is no real display here. So we use HDMI and uh, browse through the, I mean, for navigation purpose, we connect USB mouse and it works perfectly fine. So we hear the Linaro Connect, and uh, so th this and the, the Beagle Bone and the Beagle Boards and the Panda Boards and all that have been really big successes, right? Built really. Like uh, I guess some of the most successful development boards, no? Yeah, we're we're really proud of the the legacy that uh, Beagle has in 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 spearheading this open hardware movement that's really catching on. All right, so uh, uh, this is going to be a very uh, good price. Yeah, so the price uh, isn't publicly announced yet. I'm not sure it's actually set, but it's expected to be under two hundred dollars. So affordable access to this uh, Cortex-A15 development platform. So, so hello, so who are you? Uh, I'm Grigory Strishko. I'm working for Lenora Mobile Group as uh, SME from Texas Instruments. And uh, now I'm working on uh, uh, some power man management features uh, 
this board and uh, also trying to optimize Android bit time using uh, suspended disk and hibernation features. So what kind of stuff are you doing uh, right now? Uh, right now you is can it connected? see the boot log of this board. I can turn it on if you wish. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so let's go. So does it boot? What, what works? Right now, running yeah. on 3.14.19 kernel, and there's the same baseline used across uh, multiple business units and the core development uh, teams in TI. So we have Android booting up. Yeah, Android booting, and uh, yeah. as you can see, uh, this is some uh, like fancy boot animation we created. And is it a TI boot? No. Uh, it's just we are just playing with it as as I was telling you earlier. Uh, we just started playing with it like since one to two weeks back, and probably a more cleaner boot animation will come later. But no, this is great. You shouldn't. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, so then there we have Android. Is it the five point zero? What is this? Yeah, this is five dot zero dot one RC seven R seven. Uh, really so you stack. have lollipop. Yeah, this smooth. Is yeah, so far so smooth, but uh, the use case what uh, Gregory will be able to tell a little more. We are trying to use Android hibernation, see whether we can do suspend to disk and uh, show whether the boot time actually improves and uh, that's one of the experimentation projects what uh, Gregory is helping through LMG. In a car, it could be cool to have a fast boot, yeah. right? Yeah. How fast can it go? How low can you think, do you think you can get it? Uh, no. Uh, fast uh, because it's the development has just started so now we have uh, using the hibernation uh, I've got a 40% uh, boot time improvement something like can that. you get it down to three seconds <laughs> so we <laughs> no. in, in the past no? uh, we have seen using this feature uh, yeah. getting to around five to six seconds boot time uh, and that is running full Android stack without playing with uh, like you know, removing the debug flags and all those. So, so that's because it suspends to disk. It suspends to disk and uh, running the internal uh, embedded MMC at the highest possible throughput and ensuring all the peripherals are running at the highest possible throughput. So, uh, uh, but with the help of Lenaro, we want to see the solution going to upstream. That's the so, so, intention. So, what are all the things that are happening uh, with the TI Linux at Lenaro? And uh, this board, and uh, so you're working on many different things, right? Yeah, so I mean, these guys are working with Android. Um, you know, when Beagle X15 ships, it will come with Debian um, as BeagleBone Black does today. Um, so we work on multiple fronts. Uh, we work with Android, um, we work with um, standard Linux, and we're uh, looking to advance uh, the Wayland and Weston. Um, graphics stack uh, for the X15 and seeing if we can use Debian to um, make that a little bit more standard. So, so what's the GPU here? It's um, it, it's an imagination. Yeah, graphics it's imagination okay. power VR 544 uh, one core running. All right. So, what kind of other optimizations uh, you can be working on in the uh, weeks to come? So, there's faster boot. Are you doing other or some other things? Uh, no, first of all, because uh, this is a new board, it uh, still has some issues uh, related to the kernel and Android. It's just like a wake up time of this board. So first of all, all these issues need to be solved to continue future optimization. And uh, probably we'll continue to work on uh, PM related features and uh, uh, this hibernation, trying to optimize it even more than it is. Would you like to see the hibernation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's hard. Right. Now I am 
setting up a swapping device. Which uh, is now place it on the MMC. Okay, and finally, let's do. So what's happening? Uh, now the system is stored. Is side effects? <laughs> Some uh, system is stored. The uh, system just created a swap image, and now. This image is stored on uh, uh, disk. Uh, there are some issues, but it's uh, this is uh, going to be solved. Just some kind of warnings. Uh, so now the image is saved, and uh, we can just to power uh, device is powered off. So now we just do power on. Now the time is at about 18-20 seconds. Well, uh, system from on. Oh yes, there it is. Cool. Yeah.